I must say there's nothing quite like the smell of fresh basil in the morning. Yes, we are stepping into the garden with Mr. Ben Guest from Urban Harvest. Dude, how are you doing, man? Great, good Welcome to see you. Welcome back to the show. First time in 2014 Absolutely. back, eh? Absolutely, yep. So, listen, we are cooking um, for vegans uh, in the Expresso Kitchen today, and basil forms a big part of that diet, I'm sure, Absolutely. because it's such a unique plant. Very, very beautiful. But Ben, first, tell us why, why is it such a nice plant, I mean, to have in your garden? Uh, for one thing, it's very, very easy to grow. It's fantastically easy to harvest. It's very rewarding. One plant is enough for one yeah. person. So if you have a family of six, six plants is going to be more than enough. That's it. Um, they don't take up too much space, and they're a perfect companion plant for tomatoes, peppers, mm -hmm. lettuces. Really just a, a pleasure to have in the garden. And they do go hand in hand with tomatoes. And I wasn't absolutely. joking about the fact that there's nothing like the smell of fresh basil in the morning because they smell absolutely amazing. Mm. Now you've got a little bit of a crate here going yes. on with a variety of basil. I, I actually only thought there was there was one variety, which is the, the common sweet basil. Yeah. There's, there's two main separations. The first is the annual varieties and then the perennial varieties. Um, all of these here are in fact annual varieties. That means that you plant them um, sort mm. of springtime, they last you through right until the f edge of winter, so you have quite a long um, uh, harvest season. The perennial varieties are year-round, mm. and in fact they can last for a number of years, okay. um, and they're a lot more woody. Um, in terms of the annual varieties, we've got a few different varieties here. This is the main one, your sort of common sweet basil, which would be That's most it. recognizable to everyone. Um, but there's a, a couple of different ones here. This is uh, sometimes called cinnamon basil, sometimes called Thai basil. Personally, this is my absolute favorite. It's got the subtle sort of aniseedy, licorice-y flavor, oh, wow. which I don't normally like. But with yeah. this basil in its little subtlety, yeah. it's fantastic. It's winning. Yeah. All right. Um, now, now, take us through the planting process if people want to grow this at their own home. And also, do you grow it in pots? Is it beneficial to put in the garden? Uh, how would you go about that? So, it's very much beneficial to go in the garden. We've actually, in, in our rooftop garden here, we've got, for example, here we've got basil, tomatoes, peppers, marigolds, all planted together. So, as you can see, absolutely great right. in the garden, but also lovely in a pot. And you'll get a slightly longer growing season if you're in a, a cooler part of the country. So, um, you can grow it indoors in a, in a small little pot, even like this, yeah. um, on your windowsill. Brilliant. Especially when it starts cooling down, you can kind of extend the life. So, pot. Um, okay. I mean, this is, I wouldn't really go smaller than this, but you yeah. can go bigger. Um, this, is, this is good enough right. for sure. Um, some drainage chip in the bottom. Um, uh, might need a top up from you over that's there. That's fine, I'll the, give you a hand. So potting soil, which we've discussed on the show, but something that's uh, rich in nutrients and also free uh, will drain yeah. easily. So mm -hmm. we just want to top that up. Let's, top that up a little yeah. bit. Let me give you a hand here. Yeah, yep. Let's see how we go. Nice, just say stop. Yeah, keep going all <laughs> the way to the top. All right. That's it. I want to just make Brilliant. sure that it's in there properly. Okay. Um, I'm adding a little bit of soil conditioners. This is Urban Harvest Special Mix, but essentially um, bone meal would be good enough. This yeah. is kind of bone meal, a little bit of chicken manure, a little bit of seaweed, right. uh, gold dust, a, a whole That's mix of things. You want to mix that in quite nicely. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm Because I already said this is my favorite, That's I'll it. plant one of these. Now you um, have seedlings here. Is it exactly. better to, to rather buy it as a seedling form or, or you know, can you attempt it from seed? You can absolutely do it from seed. It's obviously always easier from seedling. Uh, you've got yeah. a, a bigger chance of success. Oh. So this we call the seedling plug. Yeah. Essentially we make No need to space. break it up a little bit to, just to loosen it? Not this. Because it's a small seedling plug and I can see that the roots are, I wouldn't say sparse, but yeah. they're evenly spaced, um, it's fine. But if you were to buy this, you know, this one's not the healthiest looking yeah. specimen in particular, which is why we, we brought it along to show you what not to okay. buy. Um, it's a bit this, of scrawny, skinny one. Exactly, mm. and I would imagine that the root systems of this would be quite locked in. Okay. If it's locked in, then you're right. You want to kind of give it a bit of a just massage, a, yeah. a bit of a scratch, Aerated open it up a bit. A bit. Um, so we literally just anchor Brilliant. it in there. And uh, as always, I, I keep mentioning mulch. Um, this one's a milled bark, which has its, its pros and cons, but it's a, it's a nice looking mulch. It does the job. Okay. Um, and you just want to top, 
you know, nice. top it up and then of course give it a good water. And this is going to give you months of joy. I love it. And whether you plant it in a pot or in the garden, what do you, what do you suggest? Um, sh more shade, more sun? It definitely, it's a summer crop essentially. Yeah. It likes sun. Okay. It doesn't need to be toasted. It, it's, yeah. uh, it's nice, as I said, as a companion plant, so it gets a little bit of dappled, like in between the tomatoes, it will get a bit of dappled light. Yeah. Um, but officially speaking, around six to eight hours of some light during yeah. the day. It won't do very well yeah. in the shade. And uh, yeah, it, it needs warmth. The, the worst right. thing for it is like a frost. Okay. So you, if you're in a frosty area, you yeah. want to start bringing it inside as soon as it starts Take cooling Take care off. of it. It's like yeah. your own kids. Yeah. Ben, thank you so much. What a great lesson on growing your own basil. Give it a, give it a shot. I mean, I'm excited. I should go try it out. I actually plant my own chilies, just so uh, you nice. know. Yeah, I'm going to try awesome. that out. But of course, that's enough on our basil this morning. Right now, let's bring you those official duties, the Express, coming up next.